Few furs arrive in Britain from Scandinavia in late October and November, usually when the rowanberry crop has been exhausted. Once they reach their wintering areas, field feds feast on a wide variety of berries in hedgerows and even in gardens if the weather is really harsh. Field fair is one of the two wintering thrushes that migrate to Britain, the other one being the smaller red wing. In winter, more than 30% of a field fair's food consists of berries and during periods of snow cover, this proportion is much higher. Field fairs can be very shy birds, but freezing weather will push them into gardens to feed, just like this individual. When the weather is milder, field fairs forage in fields and on lawns. In these habitats, they are feeding on invertebrates. This behaviour gives rise to their name of field fair, coming from the Old English for traveller through the fields. The relationship between birds and berries is mutually beneficial. Field fairs get the energy the berries provide, while the berry tree gets its seeds distributed by the bird. Not only the sight of field fairs, but the sound is synonymous with winter. Their chuck-chuck call is very distinctive and can be heard in the background here. By late March, most field fairs have left Britain, although birds passing through from Europe can be seen as late as May. Although a few field fairs sometimes stay in Britain to breed, most birders will not see one until they return in autumn. 